Sagittarius, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your April reading. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming, peek into the hidden truths for the month, and get some important advice from Spirit all along the way. I'm going to initially start pulling from a self-care deck. We're entering into a retrograde season, and I think we're being called um, myself personally and a lot of the people I've been talking to called into a period where we really need to be taking the best care of ourselves possible. So I have a few self-care tips um, from an, a self-care oracle deck that I'll be pulling from, as well as my personal favorite. I'm so excited to unveil this deck. I've been working with it for a while personally. Um, I wasn't sure if I would ever unveil it on the channel. Uh, well, thanks to a Leo reader, she turned me on to this because it's not something that you'll find um, in particular channels. You kind of have to know who this person is, but it's called The Familiar's Way. Uh, there is a companion oracle deck I'm working with too at the end with an animal guide as well as the tarot. But first, let's get into your self-care tips for the month of April. Thank you for being here, for sharing this space with me, Sag. So it's a pleasure to be here today with you. And thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Sagittarius today. All right, what are the two self-care tips for Sag? These have some lovely quotes and some guidance around some things that you can incorporate this month for your self-care. We're going to pull one, and we'll do one more for Sagittarius. That's way too many spirits to so take the top. Take the top. All right. She has different categories of these. The first one is an inspiration, okay? When you recover or discover something that nourishes your soul, and brings joy. Care enough about yourself to make room for it in your life. Wow, Sag. Jean Shinoda Bolin said this. So you could be recovering or discovering something that nourishes you so much this, this month. They're saying take great care, right, of yourself. Care enough about yourself, sorry. Interesting. Care enough about yourself to make room for it. Interesting. Don't let something precious pass you by. That's what I'm getting from that. So the guidance, take time out this month to treat yourself to an energetic pick-me-up. So this month, what, this is what I'm saying, y'all. We're going to have these periods of time where we're high, on a high, and then on a very low low. Where well, I'm talking about energetically, okay? I personally went through a 15-hour sleep period yesterday. I didn't even think I was going to be able to read for you all. I was a little worried because the eclipse hit me. It slammed my body to the ground and said, time out. So really take that time out this month. Whenever your body says it, what it needs, listen, because you may get slammed. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do what I did where you just get so slammed. You're like, you have no choice but to be on the couch and to be in bed all day. Um, so yeah, Make sure you take time out for your energetic pick-me-ups, which could include naps, lots of naps this month. The other one is a reflection card, okay? Truly, sacred, oh, you're getting the same guidance <laughs> to rest. Sac truly, sacred rest is soul care, Sag. We honor quiet time alone. We intentionally step away from the chaos of life. We unplug from noise and distractions. We relish moments of tranquility. Dana Arcuri said this. So Spirit is saying this month, pause, shed a layer. Pause, shed a layer, recalibrate. So you might just be mindful of this, okay, that you're going to need to take great soul care of yourself, which includes sacred rest, to step away from the chaos of your daily life and to unplug, all right, from technology, from anything that is noise disturbance, okay, whether it's self-generated or something externally in your environment. Relish the moments of tranquility this month. Hopefully you enjoyed those beautiful guidance. Let's get into the familiar's way tarot. Ooh, I love this deck. I'm so excited to use this. I think I'm more excited than, than last month's um, The Great Outdoors deck. Some of you loved it, some of you did not. And that's fine. Not every deck is going to resonate. But this one, mm, this one I never thought I would share. It's that special. Jillian C. Wild, look her up. She's done incredible work. I'm not an affiliate of hers. You can only get this deck as a set with a shadow deck and an oracle deck. It's not cheap, y'all. But if you're feeling guided to 
buy her deck, I strongly encourage you to take a look at it. Jillian C. Wild, Familiar's Way, okay? You have to go to her website for it. You can't get it any other way, okay? Hmm. Curiosity of feeling. We've got the page of cups at the bottom. Okay, let's start. What is the current energy? Current energy spirit for Sag. Other than your need to rest. Other than to take great quick... De, 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 uh, <laughs> this retrograde. I'm, t I'm telling y'all, it's going to hit my mouth today. So just bear with me. Take great care. I was trying to say tranquility is important. It didn't come out that way. Current energy, Sag. What's going on for this month? What are, where, what are we stepping into right now? What energies? Okay. Ooh, release of judgment. This is the judgment card. In this deck, he is got his head down and he's in deep, deep reflective mode, deep contemplation with the butterfly on his shoulder, signaling it's time to transform. It's time to let go of your judgment around a situation. It's time to release other people's judgments of you. Anything that has led to any kind of self-doubt, okay? Let it go. Allow it to transform, okay? This is a state of surrender to our destiny. What is crossing the release of judgment? The hermit's serenity. Oof. Judgment crossed by hermit energy. Going within, the need to get, take great care. Be in a place of solitude for reflection this month, okay? Hmm. Wow. He's letting the polar bear guide him. You could feel like things have gotten a little bit cold in the situation. And you're trying to, you know, he's seeing, he's seeing the image of himself. You see that, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but he's looking at his own reflection, okay? You could be looking at shadow aspects of yourself or, that is, or triggers in a situation where you need to go inward to integrate all aspects of self to go through a profound shift in the way you see your life and the way you see others. This is a huge transformation for you, Sag. I think that you can be very hard on yourself, Sag. You have the great capacity to look inward at the things that are both beautiful within you and the things that you don't like too in the shadow, in the ego. You're in a state of surrendering to your ego self Going inward, gaining enlightenment, seeing into the unknown, releasing all judgment. We're talking about judgment that stirs up in the collective, that stirs up in ourselves, the way we judge ourselves. I listened to this woman the other day, Teal Swan put it on her Instagram, and this woman was wearing like a cute outfit. She'd just gone to the gym. She gets in her car and she's like, some woman was telling me like, you shouldn't be wearing this outfit. You don't look good. You got stretch marks. You can see them. Like, what are you doing wearing this? And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe a woman in a gym would like come up to some stranger and start saying these nasty things to her. And then she says that the woman was her. And I was like, whoa. And it's true. This is all the things that we say about ourselves that shame us, put us down, right? I think you're looking at anything that is triggering you to think of yourself as less than or to, it, it, this is about releasing the judgments that you have that, that hinder your ability to, to recognize yourself as a sovereign spiritual being. Huge shift, acceptance of self, love of self, love of your divinity, Letting spirit guide you. And when we release judgment, we, go, we surrender to the flow state. The challenge, the six of somatics, giving and receiving equally. Look at that. He's having a nice little conversation with the camel. Look, he's revering the camel for the journey, for what the camel provides in a desert environment. He's giving his thanks. So the challenge could be in the reciprocity in a situation, giving reverence, feeling like someone is honoring you, Saj. Are you honoring the path that you're on this month? And are you being honored too? As you release judgments of self, I believe it feels like a self-generated doubt, insecurities. And it doesn't mean other people are bringing this up in you. It could be you and you. 
And I think that you're going deep within you and recognizing I am a powerful human being. Why do I have this negative self-talk? You're going to take a look at that this month. And I think you're going to be surrendering. And you're, it's almost like, I feel like you're surrendering to spirit. This isn't about another person. I mean, we're going to go deeper. Of course, we're going to talk about other things. But there's two things going on this month. And one of them is your state of flow and surrendering to, to spirit. I'm seeing a bit of a theme. I just did Aries and there were some similar energies. Ugh, and I did shuffle quite a bit, y'all. This is crazy. Similar cards. Recent past, they're just different positions. A tower. Okay. You could have had a sudden upheaval or a realization or an epiphany. I'm telling you, this eclipse season, we're getting epiphany. Whoa. Weird. I'm having weird stuff happening to me, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but like I'm getting like dizziness and it's not anything going on with me. Like there's no alarm bells going off with me physically. I'm totally fine. But there's something energetically going on, like a cack, uh, a crackle. There's like a cr uh, cr yeah, like a snap crackle pop in the air. There's like increasing solar flares and increasing epiphanies and downloads. There's some sort of energetic frequency shift going on spiritually. So a lot of us that are on the spiritual path are going to have weird sensations come up, weird physical things happening, ringing in the ears, dizziness, lightheadedness, the need for sleep, the need for rest so we can integrate this new vibration. This tower feels like this, the shifts that are going on within you physically, mentally, and spiritually, Sag, as you flow into a state of surrender, temperance. I was just telling you, this is weird. This is really weird. Aries got about all of these cards all in different places. So the fire signs are going through a similar vibe here. Really releasing the old, stepping into the new, wanting a sense of belonging in self. See, when you have a sense of belonging in self, then it's reflected outwardly, okay? She is swinging, right? Going with the, the flow of the universal energy within her and around her, being guided by two swans. Again, this is reflective of flowing in a state of balance, being guided, mm. peaceful, serenity, solitude. I think that you really need to take time out this month as much as you possibly can, Sag, because in those moments when you were on your own and you were talking to spirit, you are going to be growing in ways you have never grown before. You're going to maximize these eclipse energies, Sag. I do believe that you're going to go through some powerful spiritual shifts. Eight of somatics. A lot of you are <laughs> so creative. How cute is this? The rhinoceros is helping this woman out. Okay, look at that. She's not letting anything limit her. She is creating. That creative force within her is coming out. So in the future, I think that you are tapping into a new level of creativity, working hard and capturing the magic. The rhinoceros is a very determined animal, very powerful. It's like she's surrendered to the power within her to create. And it takes time. Whatever you're creating, it's taking time, okay? Enjoy the process. Going through a powerful shift, working. Eight, this is eight of pentacle energy, okay? This is like really honing in on your craft, Satch. Enjoying the process of reflecting on how much knowledge you've gained, how much skill, how much experience, and letting it show in the work that you do, okay? Letting it show. All right, we're gonna go into the hidden truth. We're gonna get to that in a little while. That's gonna stay here. And we're going to go into the overall general energy, the two of somatics. Oh my God, this is crazy. There's so many similar energies going on for the collective here, for the fire signs at least. So it looks like you're trying to bring some level of balance to some aspects of your life. It could be overall feeling like, wow, there's a lot of twists and turns going on this month. And I'm trying to stay steady. I'm trying to take time out. I've been through some recent upheaval, but I am in balance. I am flowing. I am letting go and letting goddess. Yeah? Let's see what this imbalance is. We're also going to get into what you don't see coming, which I've always used as a category as well as uh, advice from spirit at the end. Okay, let's dive in. 
I'm not going to clarify the release of judgment and the hermit. I feel that's self-explanatory. Ooh, you are walking away slowly from some old stuff, Sag. Stuff that doesn't serve you anymore. I'm telling you, it's the negative self-talk. It's time to feel successful. To feel like you've reached a pinnacle in your life of, you know what? I've created enough at this point that I should be satisfied. I should feel successful, right? You were working towards slowly but surely. You are a sure thing. Assured. This is assured success, Sag. With whatever you are putting your heart and soul into. Assured success. Release your judgment. Spend time going within this month. Communing with spirit is going to be your ticket through this eclipse season. Working hard at what you do in the world. You are, you are here to help humanity. You are here to be a creator. What is it you're trying to bring into balance this month, Sag? Two of somatics. Ooh, love. Love. Again, I cannot believe you. If you all have Aries placements, you need to watch the Aries because even in the clarification, I sw and I, I shuffle like mad in between. You saw me shuffle during. We're seeing a lot of similar energies come out for the fire signs, y'all. They literally got the two uh, pinnacles in the hidden truth. And it had a lot to do with having love come toward you or you're giving. Knight of Cups is a love offer, okay? This is opening your heart ever so small to love. But knowing that it's not arrived yet and still, or it's not exactly the way you want it yet. Some of you are trying to bring balance into a love bond, okay? A bond that you are committed to stabilizing, to bringing a lot of romance in. This month, you could be bringing more of the spark back. There's some patience required. Some of you are waiting on love to arrive. And in the meantime, you are happy. That's the thing. There's something, though, that you're trying to balance. You know, here we have the stork. They know how to balance on one leg. They can sleep standing on one leg. Something you've been juggling. You could be juggling. I'm getting this sense that you're juggling the, um, the opportunity. I don't think this is you going back and forth. I think this is you waiting on a commitment to stabilize. Something is, is, is requiring patience and a commitment, whether someone is working on themselves or things have not quite aligned between two people quite yet. There is an opportunity to bring this into a commitment. This could be a new opportunity coming towards you that you've been waiting on, okay? And the longer you wait, the more uncertainty starts to arise. Release your judgment over the way things should be. Go within. Practice self-love, self-care, self-alignment. Whatever you're waiting for will come toward you, will align with you if it's meant to be in your life. Spirit is saying, ground yourself while you wait. Some of you are waiting on someone to come toward you. You know them, you want a commitment with them, but it hasn't been quite, this is a commitment not quite solidified. It's there. Allow it to be what it is, Saj. I think that you're trying to release control. What's this tower? This is the overall general energy. This is you, this is for the month. Releasing control over whether someone's going to come towards you or not. Try not to get into the deliberated mind where you're like, well, this and that and this. Release what you can't control. What you can control is knowing that you have a golden opportunity coming towards you that will result in a beautiful, solid commitment. It's almost as though you've got two ideas about this. There's some uncertainty. But you will have victory. You will have victory. What's this tower that happened recently in your past? A tower. Ooh. You started putting up boundaries. You started to see clearly that some boundaries were needed. And it could have been in a connection. Or it could have been inside of you just putting up those boundaries of I need to take better care of myself. It was a massive awakening. As we have the Ace of Swords is, is, is an awakening to the truth. 
okay, and nothing but the truth. It took a lot of strength for you to look into yourself and to create boundaries. I think you've had a process. I am looking big picture this month because of these eclipse energies. I think you've had multiple tower moments in your life, Sag, that have required an energy that you have been resistant toward. Because sometimes we put up boundaries, we don't want to hurt other people, but you did it to protect yourself. So this is about the maintenance of boundaries that are healthy for you, Sag, that require your own inner resolve, your own inner strength, your own inner conviction to know what's best for you, okay? I think that you are being very discerning and you could be deciding about somebody in your life that is new in your life. It doesn't have to be a romantic interest. It's somebody that has come on the scene that you're kind of like, mm, I need to get to know them better until I know for sure. In the meantime, I, I have healthy boundaries. I'm not going full speed ahead. I'm spending time on my own. Others of you, if this is a connection that you've known, there's been a little bit of distance between the two of you. You're trying to stabilize the connection, bring things back together. There's been some defensiveness, some boundaries that have come up. It's been a little tiresome. You're trying to find clarity, trying to resolve the issues. You may have had a moment where you both went at it and you kind of like had a moment where things just kind of felt like they were falling apart a bit. And it's taken a lot of strength to, to see through and resolve the issues. All of you have different issues going on in your connections. But the main primary lesson that you've learned is what it takes for you to create healthy boundaries so you can protect your energy. What's this opportunity to come into balance? Temperance, opportunity, the moon, the five of pentacles and the two of swords. So as you have this opportunity this month to really come from a balanced state where you're protecting your energy and its expression, okay? There is something that you are really trying to release in terms of lack, in terms of, I, want, I don't want to go, it's, it's that fear of when we approach a situation, am I seeing things clearly? Is this a fantasy? What's real? What isn't real? Am I projecting into the future? Is this, is this what I think it is? So there's all this like, I feel like you have some doubts that are starting to crop up when it comes to the receiving of love. And you're looking at these doubts and you are pondering them and you were trying to let go. And as you surrender right into this depth of your emotional body, there's something that is the spirit is asking you to release this month, Sag. And it's, it's the, it's the, what's the word here? It's the doubts that get in the way and the insecurities that get in the way of creating a balanced flow of energy. I think you just, you're, you, you're worried that you might not catch something that needs to be seen for what it is this month. You don't want to, what you're showing me here is you don't want to be disappointed again. You want equal give and take. You want it to feel balanced. You want to feel like you have the right people in your life. You don't want to be misled going down the wrong path again. This is what I'm getting here. Your opportunity is to let the energy flow, okay? Don't be blind in a situation, okay? You're also letting go of some of, this is, I'm seeing this as a theme too for fire signs. You're letting go of emotions that have, that have blocked you from a feeling of belonging to another, to, to the things that you desire, to a feeling of balance. What is it in you that has blocked you from a sense of belonging? What fears have arisen? What illusions have you fallen prey to? Something's going to become more known this month. That at the beginning of the month, you might not see clearly. There's some sort of illusion here and a worry. But just be careful about any fearful states that you bring into the energy this month around whatever is unknown. Sometimes we have to walk into the unknown with that hermit energy and surrender. Just be in a state of surrender. I'm getting that. This is a month of surrender to whatever happens, letting it flow. And if you get all caught up in fear, which you will, this is nothing but fear here. Spirit is saying you will get yourself out of it 
as long as you remove the blindfold. It's like you're no longer going to be willfully blind when it comes to the things you're giving your energy to. And if it means you have to let go, and it means you're going to have to deal with a loss, you will. Because if it's not balanced, it must go. All right, what's this equal give and take? There's a challenge here around mutual reciprocity, around the giving and the receiving. Ooh, you've got a new opportunity coming in, Ace of Pentacles, a new opportunity to invest ever so. God, what is going on? This is so similar to Aries. Spirit is saying your challenge is to slowly surrender to a new opportunity when it comes to our new chapter in love. If this is someone you've been dealing with and there's a distance. It's like if you can release your judgment of wanting to control the situation, wanting all the answers, wanting to know, there is something, there's some things that have to remain a mystery. The opportunity is can you let go even if you don't know? Because the challenge here is making sure that you are entering into an opportunity that if you take your time in, you will slowly let it in. There's something around if you slowly let it in, that's the challenge. You'll be able to, this is the thing, sometimes we rush into experiences, whether it's um, in work, in love, in our personal lives, and then we're like, oh shit, I didn't mean to get myself into this. I think you're going so painfully slowly, it's uncharacteristic. Fire signs are tempering their energy when it comes to anything new. Any new endeavor, any new contract, any new situation. And it's it's almost antithetical to the fire energy. Something is making fire energy go, ooh. What is that? Ooh, sa. It's like the, ooh, sa. It's like, it's something that's slowing you all down. So you don't miss the signs. You're being given an opportunity here. The challenge is, can you slow it down enough to allow it in and to calibrate to the energy flow that is slower than you really want it to go. I just saw a picture of Sag Collective. Like you want to keep adding coal to the train and it's like, I want to go faster. I want to go faster. Why is this taking forever? Some of you have been waiting on a new opportunity. You see clearly you've learned bound, healthy boundary making. You're in a place of really letting go and surrendering to the universe, bringing you what you want. You're still grieving over some sort of loss. You're trying to come out of um, the illusion, delusion over previous experiences, wanting to make sure, ensure you don't do that again in a connection, whether it's a friend or a romantic interest. And you want to invest in things in such a slow manner that you're being care paying careful attention to what someone's giving you. Are they matching your frequency? Are they in alignment? Man, the collective is really getting discerning. This could be a new financial opportunity that you're like, uh, the emperor I'm telling you there's some sort of, there's something around your own empowerment and navigating um, a situation that there's a lot of unknowns right now. And, and as you move through the month of April, whatever is hidden that is a mystery in your life, okay, I almost said Aries, you're being asked to go with the flow, release judgment, take time out to hone in. Is this truly in alignment with me? This shedding a layer. You were recalibrating and you're, you're going through an energetic attunement. And I think that you are aligning with another, going through some turbulence, investing ever so slowly, coming from a place of true empowerment. What is this eight of pentacles? Doing the work ever so slowly, Sag. Ah, the devil. You've got some fears around your work. I think you're being challenged by some competition. There's some obstacles around your work life. I think you have fears that whatever you're creating in the world, whatever adversaries you have that you feel like challenge you, they challenge you in your work environment. It's like you have fear over your own authentic creations that what if they won't be received what if i do all this work and it fails there's a lot of what if thinking in the future spirit is saying don't worry about other people don't worry about what other people are doing you just do the work you do the work that you're meant to do look at that she's so content doing her thing i have to sneeze <coughs> excuse me that was probably very loud 
This devil energy is the fear of obstacles and blocks that are out of your control. What you can control is your excitement. You're going to move through and push through any kind of fears that come up if you really stay out true to yourself, especially when it comes to your work life, okay? And this is also whatever you're working on as far as letting love in, you're trying to release all those voices in your head that make you feel like you don't deserve it. You don't deserve to have something wonderful and exciting. You are attracting new experiences into your life this month, and there's challenges that are coming up around the work that must be done to align with another person. So you can let them debilitate you. You can let this debilitate a connection, okay? Because there's conflict. There's could be fighting, arguing. You're being, your fire um, sensibilities are being kicked up. You could have um, work spats, okay? So this, this, is, this is about releasing the judgment over the way other people are showing up around you, Sag. Going within, seeing how you respond to situations, surrendering the ego, shedding a layer. What's the hidden truth? Ah, being encumbered by feelings of restriction. There's something you're releasing and it feels very internal. This, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve this or that. You do. You deserve whatever it is that you desire. What is this eight of swords? Cutting through the BS that we generate sometimes. Yeah, when it comes to happiness, you don't, yeah, you're having a hard time, Sag. There's gonna be hits this month around you feeling some sort of obstacle fear that's coming up because obstacles are gonna rise on the road to happiness here, especially around your monetary success. You've got, it's like you, you're trying to trust the process here and it's not easy. Can you open up, and this is a state of surrender to, to the universe, a state of surrender to the flow, being happy regardless of our circumstances. You could feel like there's some blocks along the way, especially when it comes to your work life. There might be people in your midst that are trying to compete with you, that are jealous of you, okay, Sag? And I, I don't want you to hone in on that. You can create success. You deserve to be happy. This is the whole, I can't do it. I, you know, it's too hard. It's too hard, Jenna. Can you trust? Can you trust in your ability to create your own happiness, Sag? I think you can. It's not easy, but this is removing the people that stir up self-judgment. You are going to succeed at whatever you're trying to build in your home life. It doesn't mean it's not going to come without sacrifice or without hard conversations. I'm telling you, you're trying to remain true to yourself in all things this month, and you're going to be challenged. You're going to be challenged. I think you have a love situation that is challenging you. It's time to release the, the path before and open up to the new way of operating in relationships with others. What is it that you don't see coming? The em We're going to take it. The Empress, the Seven of Cups, the Death, the Queen of Cups, and the Moon. Sag, you were trying to come into true balance between your heart and your own entitlement when it comes to your own power. You are entitled to feel like a powerful person in this world. You are making decisions that are going to lead to a beautiful, beautiful, deep transformation in your life this month. There's something going on that's incredibly healing on your path right now. You're going to be releasing some old baggage. You're going to be opening up into a new opportunity where you're no longer going to feel as restricted by your own fear. Something profound is shifting. What you don't see coming is you are coming into a state of balance through surrender. Can you surrender to this process? You could be letting go of something. You could be making some very important decisions that are a bit like, I know I need to release this person from my life, but I don't know what's going to happen if I do it. Oh, I know I need to have this difficult conversation with a family member, but I'm worried that it's going to change my life. Whatever you do, whatever decisions you make this month are going to be life-changing. Life-changing, but it's not bad because it's leading you to your own empowerment and to your own sovereignty in your heart space, going deep into a state of surrender, 
towards unconditional love, healing love. You might be surrendering to another person this month. And it's all of the storm we kick up along the way of insecurity, doubt, and fear. What is the advice from spirit? Yeah, this is, a, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Sag, what am I going to do with you? You have a beautiful soul contract and the opportunity to open your heart and fall in love. This is a new soul contract, a new love. Oh, my God, are you going to let fear dictate you? You're going to stress out about this. Advice from spirit is why, if, if this is a divinely guided, faded opportunity, your task is, Are you going to let it in? Or are you going to block it out of, out of worry, fear, anxiety, lack of trusting self? And we got it in the very beginning. Release judgment. Go within. When you are deeply connected to your own divinity and your own knowledge and your own self-awareness, you will make healthy decisions. Can you trust in your ability to make healthy decisions? If you're seeing signs that you're in a situation where it's too much work, to bring things into balance. Despite the connection, despite the attraction, you have to decide what's worth it and what isn't. And if you are in a state of anxiety about opening your heart and connecting with another, like it's too hard to put the love first and all this other bullshit's getting in the way, you have to decide whether you want to stabilize a connection and see it through and whether it's possible. Equal give and take. Some of you are trying to course correct in a connection that has had a lot of problems this month. And it's like you're coming to a head. This eclipse season is, make, is bringing everything out. And like, if you've been sweeping stuff under the rug this month, you're like, we got to talk about it. We need to address this. We need to decide if we can get through this or not. Some of you, you're just stressed out about new love in particular, in general, because you don't want to go under any illusion again based on your past history. Can you just walk into anything new and trust yourself enough to know that you're going to make the best decisions for you? Let's get into your familiar's way, animal oracle. I do believe, I do believe you're going to go through a profound awakening this month. You could be walking away from some people, making important decisions that empower you. You have a beautiful soul, soul bond connection coming in, an opportunity for new love, as long as you don't overthink it. Ladybug. Ladybug, look at that. Ooh, underneath that is the heron, but we're gonna do the ladybug because that was the first one. Let's look into this. Wow, I'm being long-witted with, with you all today. Ladybug, this is her companion animal. Let me see if I can say the alphabet here. Okay, now I'm in H. Here we go. Needing a little extra luck. Ooh. Often we overlook the small wins and joys that come with everyday blessings, especially when they become part of our routine. The ladybug reminds us to stay present, open our senses, and recognize the blessings along our path. Seek the guidance of the ladybug to remain true to yourself. That's what I was talking about, taking small and meaningful steps that align with your inner wisdom. Listen to your intuition, connect with your dreams, and move forward with gratitude and thanks. These small steps, when combined, have the power to greatly influence your future. In moments of adversity, remember not to give up, as a stroke of luck may be just around the corner. Keep moving forward, believing in yourself, and trusting the journey. Amidst the pursuit of success, it's essential to take time to enjoy life and appreciate the beauty that surrounds you. Time passes swiftly, and if you're not attentive, you may miss the wonders unfolding around you. Call on the ladybug and it will continue to bless your path with luck and fortune as you remain committed to as long as you remain committed to your part. Embrace the power of taking small steps this month, Sag. Trust in the vast potential of the universe and believe that great things await you. Remember, you hold the ability to create a beautiful and abundant future filled with blessings and prosperity. I think you have a lot of luck on your side. I think you're coming out of a state of restriction around really finding happiness in your life. Removing the self-doubt and insecurities along the way are going to be important for you. But I do believe that you're going to be stabilizing 
in all ways, not without some, we'll say some challenging moments, okay? Trust yourself. Trust that you can make healthy decisions for yourself. You have luck on your side here, okay? I do see that you're going to be going through a powerful transition. You've grown. You have a uh, spiritual strength. Keep shedding that old layer, okay, Satch? I think that old layer is going to be buffering up against the new layer. And that old layer is going to be teaching you things this month around making those healthy decisions for yourself that serve to empower you and to let love guide you, okay? I don't think you're going to be turning a blind eye to anything, okay? This isn't the month where we're like just going to let things slide, okay? This is about going after what you want, okay? I think the universe is really pushing you forward towards a brand new chapter in your life where it's more balanced, okay? Especially when it comes to the new, all right? Thank you. I'll see you next time.